The winds of change are blowing through the Big Ten on and off the field as Penn State opened their 19th season in the conference with their first ever game in the leaders division. On a sunny but windy afternoon in America's heartland, they were playing an Indiana team that had never beaten them. And their highly touted defense started with a bang, forcing the Hoosiers into a three and out, giving the ball to Rob Bolton. Right to his left, back he goes, four-man rush, loads it up, fires, caught Smith, 35-yard lines, a first down, back goes Bolton to the gun, blitz picked up, fires downfield for Brown, makes the catch, first down. Play action, Bolden off the fake reverse, throws it downfield, wide open, Moy makes the catch at the 20, inside the 20, the 15, and down, inside the 15, at the 13-yard line. Red up the middle, now to his left, sees the opening to the five, far corner, touchdown, oh. Penn State, and a flag is down. Here's the call. Holy offense. Second down, 15, Dukes is the tailback, back goes Bolden, straight drop over the middle, off the left hand, and intercepted by Harden at the goal line. It would be the closest Penn State would get to a touchdown in a first half that had them dominate statistics, but not the scoreboard. Indiana put together a scoring drive behind first-time starting quarterback Dustin Keel. They would grab a 3-0 lead on a 49-yard field goal. But Joe Paterno's defense allowed him the luxury of patience. Motion by Bossler away from us. Lone setback is Stephen Houston. He'll get it again, and it's going to be hit by Hill and thrown down for a loss. Third and two. Back goes Keel. Short drop throws and knocked down the line of scrimmage incomplete. At the goal line, Adam Pines will set up a return. Low tumbling punt's going to hit that turf. It's going to roll. It bounces off a Penn State player, and it's going to be recovered by Indiana. The Hoosiers took over in Penn State territory, but what could have been a disaster turned into a minor annoyance because of a Nittany Lion defense. A defense down two starters due to injury, but led up front by Devin Still and company. They allowed Indiana just three yards before forcing them to punt again. Disaster averted, although they trailed 3-0 heading into the second quarter. Looks far side, throws that way, knocked away, oh. and then caught! At the 30, 35, 40, and finally down at the 40-yard line, a first down, and Penn State had an interception one second and a reception by Indiana the next, going to Belcher. Kill back to pass. They set a screen, they throw the screen, and it's thrown up by Gerald Hodges and Stefan Morris. Good job in mentally staying at home on a lot of these misdirection plays, baking bubble screen, trying to throw a screen on the backside, a lot of different things, well prepared on that defensive side of the ball, and end up a three and out. The disciplined Nittany Lion defense forced the Hoosiers into a three and out six times in the first half, while the Big Ten co-offensive player of the week, Matt McGloin, tried to provide a spark. He and Derek Moy converted on a third and ten. Moy was on his way to a career high in yards in the air, and Curtis Dukes a career high in yards on the ground. On the draw play, Dukes. Dukes to the 50-45. It's a first down for Penn State on the 11-yard pickup. He fires downfield on the post. Got him at the 10-yard line. First down, Shawnee Kersey. Penn State piled up yards and controlled the clock in the first half, but struggled in the red zone. This drive got as far as the five before stalling, although Anthony Ferra's field goal tied the game at three. They were frustrated, but remained determined. They were doing a lot right, but needed to eliminate some mistakes to make it count. Visionary coach Joe Paterno could see good things on the second half horizon, and they started with his defense. He'll hands off, ball loose and turned over. Devin still recovers the fumble. Sean Stanley leads the Big Ten in forced fumbles, and he and still set the table for a go-ahead score on Indiana's first play of the second half, although Penn State's red zone troubles continued. Back goes Bolden, fires on the slant off the turf and incomplete. Good snap, put down by Kaiser, kicked by Ferris up, and the kick by Anthony Ferris is good, and Penn State takes the lead 6-3. It was a lead they would not relinquish and worked hard to add to. Rob Bolden was back in at quarterback and engineered a consistent 12-play drive. Eventually, the Nittany Lions converted on fourth down inside the 10, and it looked like it would produce the game's first touchdown. It's Silas Red, right up the middle and taken down. Ball may have come loose. Indiana says they've got it. At that time, it looked like Silas Red was on top of an Indiana defender and lost the ball before he was down. But the relentless Penn State defense continued to shut down a Hoosiers offense that had been averaging over 400 yards a game. 
Still and Stanley were stout up front and got the ball back for the offense to produce the game's signature play as Penn State got on one snap what they failed to get on 12 the previous possession. McGloin on the straight drop. Matt pump fake sets, throws it long and deep. He has the opportunity. He got him at the 35, boy, 20, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown, Penn State. A 74-yard strike from Matt McGloin to Derek Moy. They went for it all day, and this time they got the two-score lead. Moving the ball had not been the issue, scoring with it had been. The touchdown seemed to open things up as Penn State went on another scoring drive on their next possession. And as the fourth quarter got underway, the Lions appeared to be taking control of the game, not just at the line of scrimmage, but on the scoreboard as well. Shotgun McGloin, back pressure. goes McGloin. Here's the pressure over the middle. He's got him first down. That was a dart by McGloin that time, and the blitz pickup was pretty good. Back goes McGloin, sets up, waits, looks downfield, looks, everyone's covered. He'll fire it deep for Moy in the end zone, and incomplete. Pretty fair field goal attempt is good. 16-3, Nittany Lions with 10-10 to go in the game. Back goes Keel, play action, rolls far side, steps up, throws it long and deep, wide open the tight end. Bossler knocked away by Suke. It hung up there and Suke closed ground, tracked it and knocked it away. On the reverse, they give the ball. Latmer taken down by Hodges on a great play. A horse collar. 15-yard penalty results in an automatic first down. Keel sets up and down he goes. Jordan Hill back at the 40-yard line. Boy, when you get pressure up the middle, quarterback has nowhere to go and that's exactly what Jordan Hill has done today. They go for it on fourth and five and they convert. They got to stop them right here because right now there's a lot of time left in this football game if Indiana ends up scoring here. Keel rolls right, looks in the end zone for Belcher, fires in the end zone, caught touchdown, Indiana. And Indiana makes it a one score game. Silas right, left side, turns the corner, 30, 35, 40, right 45, cuts inside the midfield to the Indiana 47 yard line. His third career 100 yard rushing game, his second one this year. There is a different feeling once Big Ten Conference games begin. Every yard on offense is tougher to pick up. Every play defended is a little more difficult to stop. And Indiana was not going to go away quietly. They threw one final scare into a Penn State defense that would not allow this one to slip away. So here we go. One play with two seconds ago. 16-10 Penn State. It's winner to lose it right here. Steps up. Gets rid of it. Very high throw toward the five-yard line. Knocked away. Deflected. And the ball game is over. It wasn't a thing of beauty, but then again, a W always is. With lots of room for improvement, the Lions get their first win in the leaders division because they had a lot of them working through a sometimes trying afternoon.